This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hey what's up my sports to the bone family What's up what's up Welcome back welcome back to another video my viewers and subscribers Hope you guys are doing okay Alright so coming up in this one We are going to be talking a little bit of cricket Right we see where the former West Indies pacer Sir Kirtley Ambrose, he did an interview and he had his say on the Shemran Hetmeyer situation. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Plus, we see where um, Kyle Mayers, his name is actually trending, right? After playing that back foot drive over cover in the first T20 game against Australia, it has actually sent tongues wagging across the world. And quite a few people have things to say as it relates to Kyle Mayers, both uh, players that are currently playing and former players talking about his improvement and where his game is at now. So we're going to share that with you guys. Plus we're going to be talking a little bit about West Indies cricket also. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Also leave a like and drop a comment. Alright, so we're going to start things off with what Sir Kirtley Ambrose is saying. So I am taking a look at this article here in front of me. And the headline is saying, Sir Kirtley Ambrose surprised by the Hetmaya saga, but wishes the player well. Right? And as we know, we already know the Hetmaya situation. So I don't need to go through him missing his flight and all of that. I'm just going to share with you guys what Sir Kirtley Ambrose had to say. So this is the first thing that he had to say. And I quote, I must say I am a bit surprised because who wouldn't want to play in the World Cup, in a World Cup tournament or who wouldn't want to represent their country, right? He was actually on the Mason and Guest show and that is how he opened up as it relates to the Hetmeyer situation. He went on to say, and I quote, what I heard in the media is that he had some family issues. So I take it that if you are going to miss playing for your country or playing in a World Cup, right? Then that must be some serious issues to deal with. I reckon that if that's the case, you want to ensure that whatever issues he has with his family are being sorted, right? So he has to miss the World Cup. He went on to, to close and say, I wish him well. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So, in code, that is what um, the great Sir Kirtley Ambrose had to say as it relates to the, um, the Shimran Hitmeyer situation. As I said, we have stressed it a whole lot. We, you know, we have done a couple of videos about it. We spoke about it on the live show at length last night. Talking about the live show, um, shout out to all the persons that were on the live last night. If you are just listening to this video and you are not sure what we are talking about, we go live every now and again. So you can check out the channel, make sure that you are um, subscribed so you can, you know, catch up with the live and everything. So that is what Sir Kirtley Ambrose had to say, my viewers and subscribers. Must be some serious family issues or family matters that Shemran has to deal with while he's missing the World Cup and missing the opportunity to represent his country. So, you know, um, Sir Kirtley Ambrose saying that he's... He, he, he wished the young man well. And it's the same thing here on Sports to the Board. We wish him well. We are definitely going to miss him. I was planning, you know, my team that I love to put together with him in it. So if it's the case that he's not there, the team, the cricket has to continue. The cricket will not stop, right? And, you know, we're definitely hoping that whatever it is, he will get it started out. And, you know, it's, it's weird because I don't know if, if West Indies selectors going to really put trust in him again like that, you know, build, um, leading into a major tournament. So that's another hurdle that he will have to cross. So I'm hoping that everything will be sorted out with him and his family members, whatever the situation is. So um, Kyle Mayer is now my viewers and subscribers. For those who watched that first T20 game yesterday, I must say that um, shot. From I say that shot, you don't even have to ask what I am talking about. That shot by Kyle Mayers, it has sent tongues wagging across the world. Um, former cricketers, current cricketers, a whole lot of them talking about the shot and how it's the first time they have ever seen something like that in cricket, in the game of cricket, a batsman batting. They have never seen that shot before. 
and they are definitely looking forward to seeing Kyle Myers playing some more of those shots. So Adam Gilchrist, right? The man from Australia. They can they, quite a few people credit him with the with, you know for 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 basically making popular the way in which keepers are batting these days. He was one of the, the, the first keeper that would have gone out there and would have turned it on with the bat. You understand? So this is what Adam Gilchrist tweeted. He said, I'm sure there has been a better shot in history, in the history of the game, but I just can't remember it. So with all of the great and beautiful flowing batsmen to have played the game before Kyle Mayers, Gilchrist is saying he's sure that there must have been a better shot before and than this, but he can't remember see, he cannot remember seeing it. So basically saying this shot by Kyle Mayers is probably the pretty shot that he has ever seen. Right, um, a couple of more, a couple more persons have had something to say. Azari Joseph basically said he can't recall ever seeing that, but it was a real cricket shot. Right, that is what Azari Joseph said. He can't recall seeing a shot like that, but one thing he knows is that was a real cricket shot. You understand? We see a couple of persons from India making posts and things like that. One person posted and said, Kyle Mayers. The next West Indian millionaire in the C in the IPL, right? So that is what they are saying. Kyle Mayers, the next West Indian millionaire to step into the um into the into the IPL. Uh, this is what he said exactly. The next IPL, right? He said the next IPL million um millionaire from the West Indies. With the next in the next IPL, the next millionaire from the West Indies will be Kyle Mayers, one of the most improved all rounders in all formats of the game so Kyle Mayer is definitely getting a lot of praise getting a lot of shout out from people across the world as it relates to his game so shout out to the dapper dapper that they call him my viewers and subscribers we are definitely hoping that his run of form will continue you know sometimes a player is performing well and then when it leads up to a major tournament might have a little one slip and then us as the fan for us as fans will go in at them but we're definitely hoping that things will continue to flow for Kyle Mayers and he will continue to perform like that all right my peeps so just before we go to talk a little bit about the West Indies captain Nicholas Puran so quite a few persons would have agreed that you know that first T20 game that we played against Australia yesterday a couple of the players probably were jet lag um quite a few decisions out there weren't um up to scratch but just to say that Nicholas will have to um, continue to improve. Uh, he, you know, he's warming up into the role of captain now. So he will definitely need to make sure that he's showing um, that he's the man that is to lead the team, both with the bat and, you know, in his field placements and all of that. So, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a lot of runs. 145, there about 146 was not enough for the team to defend. But based on the fact that the Australians, uh, you know, they, they went down to the 28th over, um, we can say, all right, the bowlers tried their best, but the batsmen need to step up because, you know, everybody in the middle order failed. Everybody failed. As I said, J, um, Kyle, Kyle Mears got some, some runs under his belt, right? And then Odin Smith had that 20 out there. But if you're looking at the middle order coming down, Brandon King, um, Raymond Reefer, Puran, Powell, all of these guys that you know you expect to get some runs in the middle order, they all failed. So um, Puran will have to gather the troops again, and as a soldier going into battle, he will have to find a way to motivate them. He's the leader, he's the captain, that is his responsibility. So he will have to find a way to motivate these players to continue to go into that game against Australia. Uh, the second game against Australia, and see where they go from there, because I mean, the qualifiers are coming up next and they are definitely going to want to make sure that they are on top of things we cannot um we cannot say that we're going to run over the others in the qualifiers because the last time we did we said something like that i think it was against ireland when we had that series in jamaica and we remember losing that series to ireland so we can't do them sort of things because cricket is um cricketers are going all over the world to play now so you have quality people playing for these associate nations so you know we just got to make sure that everything is on point and we go out there and go for the jugular in every game. So that is it for this one, my peeps. Just continue to big up on yourself. And as per usual, thanks for the support. Blessings. I'm out.